Hello friends, welcome back to my beautiful gardening life. And today here I am to share with you my sisis plant. Now this is sisis quadrangularis, uh, which you might have seen in a earlier video of mine, a purchase video. I think that's like a year back. And it has grown so big. So I thought I'll share some care tips with you and also share with you a propagation that I had done recently of this plant. It has grown to a considerable amount of length that I think I need to propagate it and make new plants. The propagation is very simple. You just have to pick up a section of this plant wherein you have to be careful about having the middle joint of the two portions for propagation and after that after you, you have to keep it aside for callusing now callusing basically means that it should dry out on both the sides of the cutting so that it does not spoil light this is a variety of a succulent plant so callusing plays a very important role if it is wet and you're trying to grow it it may spoil with the water content and the moisture in the soil i have done a cutting prior so this is the growth that has happened and usually the growth happens at the joints of this quadrangularis plant it's called as haddi chod or had jod in hindi all the more because it is used for setting fractured bones now that is a completely a different aspect of the medicinal values of this plant which we are not looking at it this is a very easy to care plant and it's an instant attraction to have something different and weird in your garden to propagate the cutting i had used my garden soil i had used vermi compost and i had used river sand in equal proportion and that is the soil you can continue to keep your plant as well with regards to the sunlight well this plant gets direct sunlight i have kept it at a spot where it gets its bright afternoon sunlight watering of it happens almost every alternate day all the more because i water all my plants on an alternate day basis this was a plant when uh, i had done the cutting and it was just growing and it has grown to a considerable height today now with regards to the fertilization of this plant fertilization would be important to really even it's in its growth period and that usually happens during the rainy season that time you can fertilize it with your normal a uh, garden uh, fertilizer that you use you could use a bone meal fertilizer for this same here how it looks today after i have propagated and it has grown really well i'm happy to share this plant with you thank you so much for watching this video i see you again in the next one till then bye